Imagine mastering the art of living so that every day feels like a masterpiece. Stick around to discover how you can turn your life into a work of art through the practice of love and intentional living. Sarah was exhausted. The weight of the city seemed to press down on her shoulders, making every movement feel like a Herculean effort. She sat at her desk, surrounded by the chaos of her apartment, feeling the overwhelming burden of her responsibilities. The city lights, once a symbol of hope and dreams, now blurred into a constant reminder of her never-ending to-do list. Each twinkling light outside her window seemed to mock her, highlighting the tasks she had yet to complete. Each day felt like a race against the clock. The bustling city never slowed down, and neither could she. From the moment she woke up to the moment she collapsed into bed, it was a relentless cycle of work, errands and obligations. Work consumed her, leaving little time for anything else. Her job demanded every ounce of her energy, and by the end of the day she had nothing left to give. The fast-paced urban environment only added to the pressure, making her feel like she was constantly running on a treadmill with no end in sight. Friendships felt distant, meals were rushed, and sleep was a luxury she could barely afford. The connections she once cherished now felt like distant memories, replaced by hurried conversations and quick bites between meetings. The constant pressure was taking its toll. Her health was deteriorating and her mental well-being was in shambles. The stress of city life was more than she could handle and it was starting to show in every aspect of her life. Sarah felt a knot of anxiety tightening in her chest. The once manageable stress had now turned into a constant companion, making it hard to breathe, think or even function. The city that never slept was slowly draining the life out of her. Her once vibrant spirit felt drained, replaced by a dull ache of emptiness. The joy and excitement she once felt for life had been replaced by a sense of dread and hopelessness. The cityscape that once inspired her now felt like a prison. She knew something had to change. This wasn't the life she had envisioned for herself. The realization hit her hard, but it was a necessary wake-up call. She couldn't continue down this path without losing herself completely. This wasn't living, it was merely existing. The difference between the two had never been clearer. She was going through the motions, but there was no real substance to her days. She needed to find a way to truly live again. One evening, while scrolling through endless social media feeds, a book title caught her eye. The Art of Living. It was a moment of serendipity, a small beacon of hope in her otherwise grey world. The title resonated with her deeply, sparking a curiosity she hadn't felt in a long time. Intrigued, she ordered it, hoping for a glimmer of hope in her increasingly grey world. The anticipation of its arrival gave her something to look forward to, a small but significant step towards reclaiming her life. Little did she know this book was about to change everything. It was more than just a book, it was a lifeline, a guide to rediscovering the joy and purpose she had lost. As she awaited its arrival, she felt a flicker of hope, a promise of a brighter future in the city that never sleeps. The book arrived on a day that mirrored Sarah's mood, grey and drizzly. The rain tapped gently against the window, creating a soothing yet melancholic rhythm that matched the heaviness in her heart. Curling up on her couch, she opened its pages, her heart heavy with a mix of scepticism and desperate hope. She had been searching for something, anything, to lift her spirits, to give her a reason to believe that things could get better. As she delved deeper into the book, a sense of calm washed over her. The words seemed to speak directly to her, offering a gentle reassurance that she was not alone in her struggles. The words resonated within her soul, sparking a long-forgotten sense of possibility. They spoke of resilience, of finding strength in the face of adversity, and of the beauty that could be found in even the most challenging moments. It spoke of living with intention, of finding joy in the present moment, of embracing life as an art form. Each page seemed to offer a new perspective, a new way of looking at the world that was both refreshing and inspiring. The book proposed a radical idea. To live a fulfilling life, one must approach it with the same passion and dedication as an artist approaches their craft. It suggested that every moment, no matter how mundane, held the potential for beauty and meaning. The concept felt both foreign and exhilarating. It was a stark contrast to the way she had been living, caught up in the monotony of daily routines and the pressures of modern life. Could she, Sarah, exhausted and lost in the daily grind, really learn to live like this? 
The idea seemed almost too good to be true, yet it also felt like a lifeline, a way out of the darkness that had enveloped her. The seed of hope planted by the book's words began to sprout in her heart. She found herself daydreaming about a different kind of life, one filled with purpose and joy. The more she read, the more she began to believe that such a life was possible. Slowly, she started to make small changes in her daily routine. She began to notice the little things that brought her joy, the warmth of the sun on her face, the sound of birds singing in the morning, the simple pleasure of a good cup of coffee. With each passing day, she felt more connected to herself and her surroundings. The book had opened her eyes to a new way of living, one that was rich with possibility and wonder. Sarah felt empowered, hopeful, and ready to embrace the future with a newfound sense of purpose. The glimmer of hope that had been ignited by the book's words had grown into a bright, guiding light, leading her towards a more fulfilling and intentional life. Imagine your life as a blank canvas, waiting for you to fill it with colours, textures and emotions. Every experience, every interaction, every thought is a brushstroke, contributing to the masterpiece that is your life. This is the essence of living as an art. Just like a painter carefully selects their palette and a musician meticulously practices their scales, we too can approach life with intention and purpose. We can choose the colours that bring us joy, the melodies that resonate with our souls. We can learn to appreciate the beauty in both the bold strokes and the subtle nuances of our experiences. But how do we begin to approach life with such intentionality and artistry? The answer lies in three fundamental principles, love, mindfulness, and practice. Love, in its purest form, is the driving force behind all creation. It is the invisible thread that weaves through the fabric of our lives, binding us together in a tapestry of shared experiences and emotions. Love is not just a feeling, it is an action, a commitment and a way of being that transcends the ordinary and touches the divine. It is the energy that connects us all, the wellspring of joy and compassion. When we act out of love, we create ripples of kindness that spread far and wide, touching lives in ways we may never fully understand. Love is the foundation upon which we build our relationships, our communities, and our world. When we approach life with love, we open ourselves up to a world of possibilities. We become more receptive to the beauty that surrounds us, more attuned to the needs of others, and more willing to take risks and embrace change. Love empowers us to break down barriers, to heal wounds, and to create a future filled with hope and promise. We see the beauty in others, we find joy in the simple things, and we cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for all that we have. Gratitude is the practice of recognizing and appreciating the good in our lives, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. It is a powerful antidote to negativity and a key to unlocking a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. Mindfulness is the art of being fully present in the moment without judgment. It is about observing our thoughts and feelings with curiosity and compassion rather than criticism and blame. Through mindfulness, we learn to quiet the noise of our minds and to connect more deeply with our inner selves and the world around us. It is about savoring the taste of your morning coffee, feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin, and truly listening to the words of a loved one. These small moments of presence and awareness can transform our daily lives, bringing a sense of peace and contentment that is often elusive in our fast-paced, modern world. By practicing mindfulness, we cultivate a deeper appreciation for the richness of our experiences and learn to find peace in the present moment. We become more resilient in the face of challenges, more compassionate towards ourselves and others, and more capable of living a life that is aligned with our true values and aspirations. Practice, as with any art form, is essential for mastery, whether it is the practice of mindfulness, the practice of love, or the practice of any other skill or discipline it requires dedication, patience, and perseverance. It is through consistent and intentional practice that we grow, evolve, and ultimately achieve our highest potential. Just as a musician spends hours honing their craft, we too must dedicate ourselves to the practice of living with intention and love. This involves making conscious choices, cultivating healthy habits, and continuously striving to become the best versions of ourselves. It is a lifelong journey of self-discovery and self-improvement guided by the principles of love, 
mindfulness, and gratitude. This involves making conscious choices, cultivating healthy habits, and continuously striving to become the best versions of ourselves. Each step we take, no matter how small, brings us closer to our goals and helps us to build a life that is rich in meaning and purpose. By embracing the building blocks of love, mindfulness, and practice, we can create a masterpiece of our own lives, one that reflects our deepest values and highest aspirations. Inspired by the book's message, I began to incorporate its teachings into my life. I started small, focusing on bringing mindfulness into my daily routine. Each morning, I took a few moments of quiet reflection, expressing gratitude for the new day. Throughout the day, I made a conscious effort to be present in each moment. I savoured my lunch, engaged in conversations with colleagues, and took a few deep breaths during stressful meetings. Slowly but surely, I began to notice a shift within myself. The constant knot of anxiety in my chest loosened its grip. I found myself smiling more often, my eyes regaining their lost sparkle. The world around me, once a blur of grey, began to shimmer with colour once more. As I delved deeper into the art of living, I discovered the power of intention. I realised that I had been living my life on autopilot, reacting to situations rather than actively shaping my experiences. Armed with this newfound awareness, I began setting intentions for each day. I started small, focusing on simple goals like being more present in conversations, making time for activities I enjoyed, and expressing gratitude more often. By setting clear intentions and taking aligned action, I began to reclaim control of my life. I was no longer merely surviving, I was thriving. The once overwhelming to-do list transformed into a series of opportunities to create a life I loved. Work became more enjoyable, relationships deepened, and a renewed sense of purpose filled my days. The beauty of the art of living lies in its accessibility. It doesn't require any special skills, equipment, or qualifications. All it takes is a willingness to show up, to be present, and to approach your life with the same passion and dedication as an artist approaches their craft. The journey begins with a single step, a single breath, a single moment of conscious choice. Start now, right where you are. Embrace the present moment, infuse it with love and intention, and watch as your life transforms into a masterpiece. Don't wait for the perfect moment or the perfect circumstances. The time is now. Your life is the canvas and you are the artist. Pick up your brush and begin. A typical day in my life now holds a newfound rhythm, a symphony of intention. I wake up a little earlier, taking a few moments to breathe deeply and express gratitude for the new day. A short meditation centers me, setting the tone for a more mindful day. At work, I approach my tasks with focus and purpose, finding joy in the small victories and approaching challenges with a calm, problem-solving mindset. Lunch breaks are no longer rushed affairs, but opportunities to savor a nourishing meal and connect with colleagues. Evenings are dedicated to activities that bring me joy, whether it's a yoga class, catching up with friends, or simply curling up with a good book. By prioritizing my well-being and pursuing my passions, my life has become a reflection of my truest self. Here are 10 practical tips to help you master the art of living. 1. Start with gratitude. Begin each day by acknowledging the good in your life. 2. Practice mindfulness. Pay attention to your breath, your senses and the present moment. 3. Set intentions. Choose how you want to feel and what you want to create each day. 4. Cultivate self-love. Treat yourself with kindness, compassion and respect. 5. Nurture relationships. Invest in meaningful connections with loved ones. 6. Follow your passions. Make time for activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. 7. Embrace challenges. View obstacles as opportunities for growth and learning. 8. Practice forgiveness. Let go of past hurts and resentment. 9. Live with purpose. Identify your values and align your actions with them. And 10. Celebrate your journey. Acknowledge your progress and celebrate your successes. 
life, like any masterpiece, is a work in progress. There will be moments of brilliance, moments of frustration and everything in between. The key is to approach it all with a spirit of curiosity, a willingness to learn and an unwavering belief in your ability to create something beautiful. Sarah's journey is a testament to the transformative power of living with intention and love. Her story is a reminder that we all have the power to create a life that is both fulfilling and meaningful. It's time to pick up your brush and start painting your own masterpiece. The world is waiting to see what you create. Are you ready to start your journey towards mastering the art of living? Begin today by applying these tips and see how your life transforms. If you found this video inspiring, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insights on living a fulfilling life. Comment below on your experiences, and let's inspire each other to create a life that's truly a work of art.